In this video, we're going to look at some of the basics to do with prefabs in Unity. In my last video, we made a coin object that our player can pick up, which incremented our coin counter. If we want lots of the same object in Unity, we can make any object a prefab. To do this with our coin, select our coin in the hierarchy and drag it into our new prefabs folder in our assets. You can see in the hierarchy, our coin is now has a blue box by it. This is how you can identify your prefab. Now, if we select our coin prefab from our assets and drag it onto our scene, we can create as many coins as we like. These coins will all act the same as our existing object, disappear when collected and increment our counter by one. I'm gonna make an empty game object called coins, which will hold all our coin objects for us just to keep it tidy. You can parent and group game objects by dragging them inside one another, which is handy for organization. With prefabs, if you change the original asset, it'll change all objects, even place ones. So if I change the prefab sprite, you can see they all change. However, if I select our original coin that we placed in the game scene over in our hierarchy and change this sprite, this will only change that one. Same as if I change another to a bottle. These are independent from our prefab since they're placed. If we press play, it still reacts the same as it is still connected with the original script. Now, if I take our golden coin and drag this into our prefabs folder once more, it'll ask if I want it to be an original prefab or a prefab variant. We'll make the gold coin an original prefab and I'll change the name so it to be gold coin just so we can keep an eye on it. Next, we'll drag over our bottle object and make this a prefab variant. I'll name this one bottle. Notice this prefab variant has a hashed side to its icon. This lets you know it's a variant of another prefab. If we now change our original red coin prefab, we'll change the size. You can see it changes all our red coins and the bottle prefab variant. This is because prefab variants stay linked to their original prefab. So when we change our gold coin prefab, we can see that only the gold coin changes as it is unlinked and it's its own boss. Thank you. 